Following the declaration of the state of emergency on drought, the upgrade of the borehole comes at a very crucial time. Kunene is one of the hardest hit regions by drought affecting both humans and livestock. With the opportunity presented, some of the community members welcomed the move and set up vegetable gardens next to the borehole. The borehole was upgraded to a high-tech solar system that is able to pump water even if the weather is overcast. As you can see, um, it's a very high-tech system. So even when it's overcast, you know, the water will still go, you know, still pumps through. So they have a lot of livestock here, um, the campsite, and as I mentioned, the households, you know, really do benefit from this. So this has really been a very big uh, benefit you know, for the entire you know, community here. The local community expressed gratitude towards GIZ for the move, which they described as a kind gesture that came at the right time. The old diesel generator they were using in the past was proving to be a problem and they struggled with water for both the community and their livestock. We are very happy with what GIZ have done for us. We were struggling so much with the water, but with the new solar pump, it made life a little bit easier for us. We are thankful for what GIZ have done. They should please go around to other villages that do not have solar boreholes and assist them also. We use water for a lot of things such as building our houses, drinking, cooking and for our animals as well. We'd like to extend our gratitude to GI said for the wonderful guests which will go a long way. Our animals will no longer suffer from water shortages. GIZ hopes that the upgrading of the borehole will bring much relief to the people of Morevag and urge the local community to look after the infrastructure and ensure that it's not vandalized. GIZ has been supporting local communities in Namibia through different projects and has committed to continue uplifting the lives of the Namibian people. Idelbert Mukena, NBC News, Morevach.